PED side effect of kidney disease. And our experience with it, and our recommendations or things you should look into to prevent it, and the realisticness of uh, how common it is uh, that kidney problems result from PEDs. So I will talk for myself first, and I'll let Trevor talk for himself and uh, some of the other people that we've helped. I've never had a kidney problem, none whatsoever. So I've experimented with six for six years with all kinds of different uh, performance enhancing drugs. And uh, because I, I think I stay well hydrated, the only time I ever had a problem was my uric acid went up really high. And I don't even know if that's related to the, to the kidney, but I know that it was uh, dehydration what was, was causing it. The number one cause of kidney problems that I've seen is dehydration, not PEDs. Now the more substances you take um, that your body has to get rid of, it's like the more dirt you put in your system that you need more water to flush that filter out. It's just like a reverse osmosis filter in water treatment. You know, it doesn't work without water flushing through it to flush out the filter. The filter would get clogged and permanently damaged and once the kidneys are damaged, that's it. They don't repair themselves. So it's really important not to ever let yourself get dehydrated, especially when you're taking harsh compounds. Trevor? Yeah. Um, you're, one of the big things for, for kidneys with it, you have to watch your blood pressure. Blood pressure is what, what really takes the kidneys out, and most people don't know that why taking the anabolics put so much stress on it is you have nitrogen, you have nitrogen retention, even that uric acid that he's talking about. Um, how well your body retains and recycles nitrogen is going through your kidney over and over. Anabolics increase this and puts a tremendous amount of stress on the kidney. And then we go into a gym setting, we do workouts, whether we're going into a pre-contest mode and we're causing a lot of protein breakdown, that breakdown is actually what's helped clogging and damaging the kidney as well. And then the again, I'll take a nitrogen and then how much protein we're consuming when people are doing these over consumption of protein. So you have a, a whole effect from five different ways, all combining together and causing the stress. Then you add blood pressure to it. And if your blood pressure goes up, your kidneys, just, it'll, it'll just stop overnight. It'll stop. Um, so keep an eye on that. The dehydration, like you said, is the number one thing in kidney problems. And it usually comes for comp from competition using uh, Lasix or diuretics for this. And I've seen not just kidney, but organ, liver, um, shut down and failure from this because when you're doing it with diuretics, um, even whatever loop diuretic it is, your, your body doesn't, it doesn't um, differentiate between what needs the, the minerals more or less. So it'll take it right from your organ. Your organ will starve from it. And if you were to stop drinking water and do the two gallons of water a day trick, the whole reason for that is by the time it gets to the organs, that signal gets sent, your brain realizes it, and then it stops. How dactone will change at that point. And so you're typically safe at that point when you're doing it yourself, but you introduce a diuretic and now you're taking it from everywhere. Um, but well, yeah, with kidney, it's nitrogen, protein breakdown in the gym, how much consumption you're having, the drugs increasing the nitrogen retention, the anabolics, and blood pressure. Um, your red blood cells are a huge factor, hemocrit, watch those too, because those increase it's like put it, running a coffee filter, and then the thicker your substance is, it's going to take longer to go through there. So I've been taking creatine since I was 14 years old. That's 22 years of creatine usage. No kidney damage from it. By the way, back then, um, the rest of the industry was trying to scare us away from creatine by saying it was kidney toxic. Yeah, like creatinine. <laughs> yeah, creatinine was the same way they're trying to do with SARMs and everything else right now. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, high protein diet. I had an extremely high protein diet my whole life. I had a high everything diet. I always eat a ton of calories. Never had kidney problems from that. The, o the, only, time is, the only times that um, I would have any risk of kidney issues is for me, di dehydration. Uh, and yeah, blood pressure, I missed that too. You're right, 100%. So that concludes uh, the kidney uh, PED 
experiences.